Kanisha Michael Rand from the Star Tribune. Um, Simone was in here. I think she was the first one in actually today after Cheryl saying that she wishes she had your athleticism. Um, and she's kind of taken you under her wing a little bit. Uh, how, how's that relationship been going so far? Uh, the relationship been well. Um, me and Simone just laughs a lot in practices. Uh, she She's always in my ear helping me out on the court, but uh, she plays a lot as well. So she told me that she wished she had my speed too so she can be f speeding through the process because I think we had a play in practice where – she was supposed to be defending, and I took off, like, at half half court. We was, like, at the same part. And then once I took off, I was at the rim, and she was still kind of by the free throw line. So, yeah, she told me she told me that, too. So it's just something we laugh about now. So she's not just saying that to, to you know, to get the to get the upper hand in a one-on-one -on -one situation or something like that, making you feel good? No, she's not making me feel she knows, She knows I'm faster than her. We talk about it. She thinks it's because she's getting old, but I'm just fast. You've got a little taste of this so far. You played a little bit in the, the preseason game. What you know? What are your impressions of, of WNBA basketball that now that you've you know had a little a little taste of it at least? I I think that um, playing against the um, people that's that's already at the, a higher level has been really fun for me because I've been learning a whole lot. Um, it's been building my confidence up by having people in my ear helping me that's been at this spot already. And um, just seeing the different IQ levels that um, each player has um, so far in the league, so far that I've seen. And um, that's with our team and with other people's team as well. So I think that the IQ level is so much different. Like they're way smarter at this level. So speed really don't matter. It's how you how you use your speed to kind of get going. So Hi Kanisha, Katie Davidson from The Athletic. Um, last night you had quite a few minutes in the scrimmage against the national team. How do you feel on the court? I felt good. I, I felt like I was able to um, heat up real quick. I came in and hit the three. So I just think my confidence is really high right now. Um, and just knowing that I have to come in and I can't come in and think that, oh, I'm a rookie. I have to come in and play just like everybody else because it's the same. It, I feel like it's the same support system that I've had at the U of M. Um, so a lot of people got um, trust in me and they believe in me. So I just have to believe in myself. So coming in with that mindset has been helping me just play my game and not really worry about who um, or how long I've been in and how long other people has been in. Okay. With that in mind, um, how do you kind of react to Taylor being waived this morning and, um, I mean, take in the reality of that, but also just keep focusing on yourself and bettering yourself? Well, that just goes along with um, it's not enough teams in the WNBA, and it's a lot of talent that I don't think is going a ways because those people are really good. And I just think that since it's not enough teams in the WNBA, it just gives somebody else the opportunity to play um, overseas or um, just keep – just know that it's not because you're not good enough. It's just because they have um, – they don't – you have to fill a roster up and it's only 12 people that can be on the team. So um, I just think that with me, I just have to stay focused and just keep doing what I'm doing. I can't really focus on – um, the outcome of things. Just know, just being here is a blessing to all of us. So just keeping a positive mindset about everything. Thank you. Yeah, Kanisha Pat Borzi with ESPNW. Uh, how quickly, you mean, obviously you live here, so how quickly were you able to get here after you were drafted? And, and how much do you think that being able to get here quickly helped you assimilate, learn the plays, and figure out what they wanted from? I think I got here a couple weeks after our season ended. Um, so I was coming here um, right before I would go to like my internship for school. And so um, I thought that me being able to come in early would help me get ahead on plays. And um, uh, just knowing like the um, pick and roll coverages and, and how to actually come off a of pick and roll uh, in the in a WNBA because like I said, people are so much smarter and um, not only depend on their talent to do stuff. So me being able to get in, I was able to get in with D-Rob. So it was a, a guard that I was with. And um, we were playing against the scout guys. So I was able to get up and down and, and keep my stamina up from from the season before. So just not getting out of shape, I guess. 
Okay, so this is probably within maybe a day or two after you were drafted? Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much so. It was like, a, yeah, a day or two after. Uh, maybe maybe like three days after I was able to get in because I came, we found out, I found out on Wednesday, and then I, so I, I was like on Monday. So Monday I was able to come in um, with D-Rob and actually get some stuff going um, and get some shots up.